uh, today before we get on to the companies and the exchange is that the Commissioner of the Companies and Intellectual Property Commission, that's CIPC, Astrid Luden, well known to us in television studios and uh, in commenting on uh, issues of the day, uh, we had a story that uh, she had resigned and uh, before that that she was about to be suspended. Now Astrid joins us on the line now. Astrid, that was the story. Tell us what's happened. Uh, good evening. Well, uh, David, uh, about a week ago, it's actually exactly a week ago, I received a letter from the Minister of Trade and Industry indicating his intention to uh, suspend me and giving me five days to respond. And so, you know, I prepared a comprehensive response and submitted that to him this morning. But as I uh, thought about it over the weekend and, and had various discussions with my family, I decided that, quite frankly, this uh, wasn't worth uh, pursuing. Um, a suspension, with a suspension, I could be uh, sitting at home for, you know, up to a year, probably waiting for charges to be uh, made against me. Um, and, and in the end, you know, because I, I obviously believe that I haven't done anything wrong, we might settle. But, you know, I would spend a year um, doing nothing or very little, and um, I prefer to be productive and move on with my life. There's also uh, a stigma around suspension. It's often, uh, it often happens when someone really has done something wrong, uh, corruption, uh, wrongdoing in corporate governance terms. So whether you're innocent or not, uh, this is not the sort of thing you want against your name. Absolutely not. Um, but, you know, uh, I think the DTI has already commented on it. Let me just say, you know, the thing about suspension is, firstly, there needs to be evidence of misconduct. And secondly, there needs to be some evidence that you're going to interfere with an investigation. Now, in our case, the investigation is complete, and the investigation doesn't reveal any misconduct or corruption. So that report, I'm sure, will be in the public domain soon. Um, and um, I think, you know, it will speak for itself. Yeah. They talk about uh, technical procedures, and apparently Lionel October said that you'd actually done an excellent job uh, in turning around the commission. And uh, so... He, they are themselves saying these are technical rather than moral issues. Uh, could this not have been sorted out perhaps in a discussion uh, where you might have overlooked filling in a form? Uh, is it that kind of level? Well, you know, it's, it's basically uh, the, at the level, the level it is at is, um, you know, we have a difference of opinion with the Gobordo, the, the forensic investigators. They believe that we should have had a tax clearance certificate um, a valid tax clearance certificate at the time of the award. We say that we've received advice from the Treasury to the contrary. So it's, it's really technical, um, and I think those are issues that need to be uh, properly debated and um, different opinions need to be put on the table. I think what I can add is that most of these matters have already been audited, and the Auditor General didn't find any wrongdoing. Do you think there's something personal in this move? Um, I think that there, you know, there's a, a personal issue that uh, issues that have been raised by one of our, our unions, Nehal, and I think um, that perhaps, um, you know, the minister has been under pressure. So, but I can't comment on it, and unfortunately, I haven't had a discussion with the minister, and I think he's best placed to, to, uh, you know, elucidate this. It's a personal view of mine, reading and listening and interviewing people, that sometimes government uh, departments in particular, but also companies, are a bit trigger-happy with suspensions, that some of the issues could be sorted out without going to suspension. Do you think they are taken aback by your decision now not to go through with this? Um, I'm not sure. I've not had any contact with the DTI or with the minister today. You know, the minister is travelling. Um, but I would agree with you that, you know, Suspension seems to be uh, a method of dealing with particular issues in government that I don't think is appropriate. Um, at all levels of the organisation, you need to be very clear about the reasons for suspension. And um, I don't believe in my case those reasons were very clear. Well, that is uh, Astrid Luden on the line there. She is the Commissioner of the CIPC, Senior Position uh, in a Government Body, uh, Astrid Luden. Notice of suspension and she has now decided not to go through that whole process and has resigned.